hey you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this beautiful honey blonde wig if you're not subscribed be sure you subscribe like and comment and let's get straight to the video so you already know you got to get your ball cap ready save those edges girl and i'm going to be using this hair from ally coco it's 24 inches it comes with these beautiful wispy eyelashes that i'm going to put on when i do my makeup and here is the hair it's well packaged it barely had any smell to it i'm just waking up you guys i'm sorry if i sound a little raspy or whatever um the only problem i had with this hair was the shipping but that's due to the pandemic that's going on i hope you guys are staying home and staying safe and watching my videos <laughs> but yeah so this is the hair it's already pre-plucked i didn't have to do any extra plucking to it unless you like it to be extra plucked i'm just trying it on to make sure that i'm liking this color on me before i even install it and you guys i really did love this color i was really scared to use it at first So to help get rid of those flyaways, we're going to use my Tresemme mousse and I'm going to just lay those baby hairs and flyaways down. Here I'm just using my freeze blast to stick the ball cap down to my head. Alright you guys, this part is really important that you do, right? Especially with color wigs. Um, excuse me. You're gonna wanna cut that excess cap off, but you also wanna make sure that when you lay your wigs down that you cannot see that ball cap. Now I'm gonna put my makeup on it so it'll blend in with my skin. And I'm also gonna tint my wig. Therefore, everything is matching up. But yeah, you want to make sure you don't go too far with the ball cap. And you guys going to see what I do. I'm not going to do too much talking. It's kind of self-explanatory. So just make sure you're paying attention and watching all the way through. So here is where I'm just testing out and seeing if the ball cap is where I want it to be. 
and turns out it was too far down so i'm gonna pull on it a little bit right here and cut the rest of that part of the cap off So here is where I'm putting my foundation on top of the lace. That way it'll blend in with the ball cap and also my skin. So when I part the hair, it'll look more natural. Now, when I say I didn't pluck the wig, I should have. I will be plucking my part. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but when I do wear the wig, I do plan on plucking the part. That way, it'll look more of like my hair line, my hairline, my parting, my whatever. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. So I did precisely three layers of the got to be glue in each section. So here, this is the first layer. And then I'm gonna let that dry, then do a second layer, let that dry, and then do a third layer. That way I know my wig is secure. It's not going anywhere. And I feel like the sections are better than just putting the glue from ear to ear, or well, to temple to temple, and just pulling the wig down. Um, it helps you better um, install the wig. And then when the wig is on top, I like to take the blow dryer and glue the wig down. And here I'm just gonna repeat the same steps.
And just for extra hold down, I'm going to take this hair tie and I'm going to tie this hair down for about 20 to 30 minutes. I, would, I don't remember, I just know it was 20 to 30 minutes. And then after, I'm going to take it down. It's been about 20, 30 minutes now. And I'm just going to brush that hair out the way. And I'm going to cut the excess lace off. Now, I don't do baby hairs. Baby hairs are totally optional. Um, I'm not good at cutting the hair and doing all the brushing to make it look natural. Um, I try my best to make sure my hairline look as natural as possible. Because like I said, I hate baby hairs. Look like curtains hanging. No offense. But yeah. So I'm just tying this hair back down for extra security. And I'm going to do my makeup. And here is the completed hair install. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a process, but I got through it. Please like and subscribe, comment, share if you care. I'm going to show you guys some length and how it looks on me. And be sure you guys check that description box down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.